our mission is to aid in the conservation of Ontario's turtles and the habitat that they live in. In Ontario, there are eight species of native turtles. Seven of them are currently listed as species at risk. We admit and treat, rehabilitate and release turtles from all over Ontario. About half of the ones we see through the hospital are females on their way to lay eggs. So we collect these eggs that would have been lost otherwise and we incubate, hatch and release them near where the mother was found. So right now we're hatching the 2,000 eggs that we have incubating um, this season. So this is a lovely little new baby. So he's still quite new but definitely ready to be in the water. So what we're going to do is just get a weight on him. Five grams. And I'm just going to set him on the edge of the water and let him just get used to his new surroundings. Education really is what drives conservation forward. If people can understand and grow to love the uh, the the species that we're dealing with, then they will want to rally behind and save them. We target audiences from kindergarten on up and also we have an education program that targets the veterinary profession, so veterinarians, veterinary technicians and rehabilitators. Uh, my name is Wendy Fusil and I've been a volunteer here for about two years now. We were going to the cottage and there was a big turtle on the road and my dad got in and saved it. And I thought, well, I could, I could get behind that. We are doing field studies and these field studies are to help ensure that these head starting programs are as successful as they possibly can be. So we're adding to the knowledge of best practices to ensure this. And so our field work is following a group of Blandings turtles that we've head started alongside a group of wild Blandings of similar size and we're comparing the behavior and survival of these just to sh again to ensure that this is a viable conservation strategy. We're doing population surveys in a previously unsurveyed area. So population surveys of all species of turtles and we've recently discovered a new population of one of the most endangered Ontario turtles so that was very exciting. Also while we're out in the field we are uh, doing road mortality surveys. This is to identify mortality hotspots that need to be addressed and then helping to address them through education, through signage, and then the gold standard of this, which is the implementation of eco-passages. So this exclusion fencing is for benefit of turtles. June comes nesting season, the adult females are trying to lay their eggs and often they're crossing the road and they get killed. So this fencing will keep the turtles from getting on the road and hopefully ensure long-lived populations for generations to come. Not many turtles make it to adulthood, so the population relies on the adults having almost zero mortality in order to ensure that the population is healthy. So each adult that we can save is really vital to the population. We save hundreds and hundreds and hundreds each year.